I was on Amazon the other day and I was looking for decks that I could use for money readings. Every month I do a money reading for um, the Aquarius and I also do personal private money readings for my clients. So I wanted a deck that was specifically about money. So here I am on Amazon and some of you guys know I'm an Amazon affiliate. So every so often I'm supposed to show Amazon products. So I figured I'll go get me a deck or two. I did end up getting two. And I want to show this one to you. This one is called Money Coming From, Career and Money Oracle Cards. And I had not seen this deck. It's upside down, yeah. I had not seen this deck anywhere. So I was like, hmm, this should be interesting. So I went ahead and got it. And it came in. It came in plastic as always. And I thought that today we would take a look at it. Now this deck... I actually have used this deck. I did a, a reading. I did a couple readings with this deck. And I just did a um, Aquarius money uh, reading for the month of March with this deck. So I have actually used it and had some experience with it. So um, I had it for like about two weeks now. So I definitely want you guys to see it. My name is Queen Alset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to anyone and everyone who might like it too. Please drop us a positive comment in the comments section. And if you want to get your own personal private reading done, please email me or hit me up on social media. I will be so happy to give you a reading. All right, let's go because I'm very excited about this. So it's a very simple box. It's a hard box though. Um, nothing on the inside. Very simple deck. It's not a lot of frills to it. Let me pull it out and put this one to the side. What I like the most about this deck, I'm going to show you up front, is the backs. The backs are really pretty. Isn't that pretty? It reminds me of like a geode or something. I just thought that was really gorgeous. So I really like these. Uh, let me show you the cards. Not too thick, not too thin. Nice little snapback. So not bad at all. Let me show it to you. I'm going to show you each and every card. Pull it as close to you as I can. They're small cards too. So like a lot of Oracle decks are humongous. <laughs> you know, you get a lot of them and they're really big, which I don't mind because a lot of times the artwork is so beautiful. I like to see it stretched out. But with this card, the these cards, the only thing you'll notice up front that's kind of strange is that there's a lot of writing on the cards, okay? But it's so hard to see it. It's so small. So if you're somebody, and I can kind of get it, and I've also found some um, some issues with like typing and grammar at the bottom of these, but I've used them and they've been really helpful. So if you're somebody um, who has a problem with their eyesight, that could be problematic because like I said, you have to get it all the way up in your face to be able to see it. So some people may need a magnify magnifying glass. And the bottom part is really important too because it gives you a lot of information because on the top part, you just get a keyword. So if you're somebody who just likes to go by keywords and intuitive reading, that'd be right up your alley. But if you're somebody who wants a little bit more information, right at the bottom, it has um, some writing for you. So if you got your magnifying glass out or if you pull it close to your face like I do, you can also read the bottoms. Okay, so I must say so far from using these, they have been really spot on. Um, they weren't really what I expected. I expected it just to be the top word and then it's a picture. So I was actually happy for this at the bottom because it helps me to see what it's talking about. Like this unexpected card, like you could say, okay, you're going to get unexpected money. But this also says unexpected loss. So depending on the other cards... It's going to tell you it what's happening with the person. So maybe they like it, like the picture suggests, maybe they got into a car accident or something like that. So I'm going to try to pull these as close as I can so you can read the bottoms. There you go. All right, that's good. You see how small they are? That's my only gripe with this. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is small. So I have struggled just a bit being able to read them, but only on camera. When I'm in person... It's no problem at all. And they cover different things that could 
you know, go wrong with your money, issues, positive things too, um, all that kind of stuff is in here. And I was kind of surprised because some of the stuff that was in here, I really did not expect. Um, like this card here, I love this card, Angelic Help. So this is like, you know, Divine Intervention card. Like you need some help with your flow. Look at that. Pay attention to the signs your angel sends you. So yes, it has been a very helpful deck. It has, It's very precise. It's very clear. Um, there's really no guesswork with it. You read it, you look at the other cards around it, and it plays very well. I played with this with uh, different um, tarot, and it plays very well with tarot decks. It just kind of adds to whatever vibration is there and gives a little bit more clarity because they are so specific. Like, for instance, the Money Manager card this one here so if somebody gets a card where they're talking about managing their money and this may come up to tell you different ways it could be problematic i think the pictures are cute too um they're obviously see how they are in the background oh take action I like that one um the pictures are cool I, they have like modern like themes to them stuff that's going on in real life um and they're mostly looks like photographs so it's not like, you know, artwork is actual photos, which gives it, you know, just more of a realistic look. I like photographs. I like art. I like different things in cards. But when it comes to this one, I like this simply because of the topic. Unfulfilled. Oh, wow. And you see how we have positive, we have negative. We have like, a, you know, some that are a little bit more neutral. So this one is all about like manifesting. You got all the tools you need here. So if you're looking for something that you can use for a, um, a full reading, yes. Um, a daily, um, uh, maybe a daily pull, you could do that too. And then, like I said, you can always match these up with other decks. Um, I think I use for mine uh, one tarot and like several other oracles. And they also have positions in here. You see, this is teacher. So some of you may be thinking to yourself, what profession should I go in? And maybe you pull a few cards here and consider laborer, consider teacher, um, you know, those kind of things. This one says this person, I got this a lot. I got this like four times already for different clients. And basically it's about them settling. They're on the wrong path. So they're doing a job and they're just settling for it just to have money, which in today's society, of course, we all need money, but it's saying they need to work towards their life purpose. Something else is their purpose and they're not going for it. Ooh, this is about financial investments. And I love all the pictures of money. I feel like looking at pictures of money helps increase the flow of money. I love that. Now, the um, pictures themselves, as far as diversity of people, you do see a lot of different kinds of people, but mostly the people to me are like in the background. You really see um, the, the focus is really on, you know, the words and things like that. Some of them don't have people at all. They just have a stack of money <laughs> or a car or, you know, some of the things like that. So those things I like. I like that as well. This is another occupation for anyone who wants to be a transporter. So like a bus driver or working for Uber. If you got that card, that would be a great idea. Ah, this is a caution card. So this person needs to be careful. They may be getting ready to get into like a risky investment or something like that underworld unconventional ways oh my what kind of unconventional ways <laughs> when i saw the pistol i'm like um okay i could maybe i could be a bouncer <laughs> or something like that all righty then okay there was more to that bottom you are right, evolving ways of making money okay so if I got to carry a pistol, that's not a job for me. I'm not trying to do that. This is about leadership, coming into leadership. Okay. 
Okay, you're ready. So maybe some people are time for them to take on a better position or a higher position. Um, she's a designer. And you see how some sometimes when I put it in, you can't see the words at the bottom. So it's extra words down there. So I do recommend just reading the card. There is no guidebook. So you don't have to go with a guidebook. But this bottom part has been very helpful. Sometimes I haven't needed but a lot of times it has been very, very helpful. This is a shift. Okay, so this is a totally different direction with your career. Awesome. I like that a lot. This one is loss. And when they came, they did not come in alphabetical order. So if you were expecting them to be in alphabetical order, they're not. <laughs> they're not at all. I just like them because they've given very clear precise answers um to the questions that my clients have asked this mechanic card really surprised me because when i first got it i was like a mechanic but then it was talking about mending things so the person could be an actual mechanic which my client was not but they were trying to mend things at their at their actual business um and you can see way at the bottom again See how small they are? <laughs> That's the only thing I don't like is how small the writing is. But I don't really think, I guess they could have made it a little bit bigger. Because I was trying to see if they could have made it bigger. And I think they could have. This is the spirituality card. So this is for someone who actually uses like spell work like I do or things like that. If I got this card, it would be like, okay, well, you might need to do a prosperity magic. You know, or you might have a blockage with your prosperity. Maybe you need to see someone. So that's really helpful as well. Okay. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see the bottoms of these since they're not easy. Not easy to see. And some of them are black and white. Some of them have color. Let's see. Ooh, this person about to get money. So some of them have color. Some of them are black and white. We see uh, the gold and black is repetitious throughout. I like the color scheme. Uh, let me show this to you. Oh, this person is lucky. All right. I would say blessed. I don't believe in luck. I believe in blessings, but it's the same vibration. All right. This person might be in retail or wants to get into retail. Let's see. All right. This is a partnership. So you might be taking a business partner. You might have some issues with your business partner. See, it really depends on... That's why I like to do the tarot cards with it. Because it really depends on what they say. See, once again. See, <laughs> every time I put it in, it's like, oh, the bottom part disappeared. So, this person needs to go back to school. They might be in school. Maybe they're, you know, they need to look at maybe a minor or something like that. Or maybe they need to take some other courses. Maybe you need a workshop. Maybe you need a book. Maybe something you need to learn. Things along those lines. So as you can see, there's a there's a nice little spiritual vibe going through here. But a lot of it is very practical. You know, making investments, budgeting, growth. A lot of it is really practical. So these have been very helpful. Underneath this video, I'm going to put a link to where I got these. You can get the exact copy of these in case you want these. Um, I'm really glad I bought these. And if you notice, I've used them and they haven't bowed at all. Usually if you use a deck and you shuffle the way I do, um, it has a tendency to bow. I'm trying to make it do what I want it to do. But it's fighting me. <laughs> they have a tendency to bow. These have not bowed. They're pretty much straight. And I have shuffled them quite a few times. So that's actually a good enough quality for me. I don't like cards that are so thick that I can't shuffle them. And I don't like cards that are so thin that you shuffle them and they rip. It's not easy for a deck creator to get a nice balance between the two. But when they do, that is awesome. I, I like this one about working smart. 
not harder but smarter and they use my guy Einstein there's a like remember I told you about the diversity there is a little diversity in the pictures um I don't see a lot but there is some I mean like like for instance we saw Einstein he's older in that picture we've seen some people of color um you know we've seen some you know I would like to see some more older people some more crones um maybe some more people of color so the diversity isn't like awful but it's not the best i've seen i've seen some people really do a beautiful job with diversity but um it's not awful but it's not the best i would give it like just that overall what would i give it i would give it an a i seriously would because i have enjoyed using it it has given me great answers there is some diversity in it the only problem i really have is how small the words are at the very bottom i think they should have scrolled up a little bit if you take a look at this they could have pushed that up a little bit like maybe up to here i would say pull this up to here and they could have made the font a little bit bigger that would have made me happier but other than that, I really like it. It's a solid deck. So check out the link underneath this video if you want to get it. And you please come back soon because I got a lot more to say. See you later.